Hey everybody, welcome to core and cardio for today. Start on your hands and knees, feet out, plank position, pulling the hips to ribs, mountain climbers. So using that lower core to pull the knee forward, foot parallel to the ground. Okay, biggest mistake I see with this is people will start to lift the hips up and move here with the mountain climbers, okay? Boom, hips down, core tight, and that pelvic tilt in the lower core. If this is too hard for you, then you can drop the toes at the top every time and pause. If this is too easy, then I want you to slow it down, bring opposite elbow to opposite knee. So if it's too easy, you're gonna go one, two, three, four. This is the hardest, medium, Knees up, and then if you find you're losing form, feet touching the ground every time. Nice. Next one, squat, plank, push up. Plank, push up. Go at your own pace, find your breathing. After this, we'll do some core in our back. Give those shoulders a little bit of a break. You have 15 seconds, let's make it good. Should have watched um, my previous video on the full body workout, how to do the burpees perfectly. You'll get the most benefit out of those. In your back, pelvic tilt we talked about earlier, pulling the hips to ribs, lower back on the ground. Variation number one, heels out, use this to catch your breath. As soon as your breath is caught up, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Breathing. Again, a common mistake I see with this is people just give her the bicycles. They're actually not doing anything. You have to push the lower back to the ground. Use that lower core now. Find it's a heck of a lot harder. Lower back on the ground. The thing is, the neat thing is people will think they're being really strong and I'll see in class and I can see who's actually working and who's flailing around. There's a difference. Next one. On all fours. Knees off the ground. Rotate for me. Right foot down. Left foot parallel to the ground. Knees down. Rotate. Knees down. Pulling the hips to ribs. Rotate. As soon as you find the movement, I want you to bring the pace up a little bit. But every time the landing zone is in the center, pulling the hips to ribs. Nice. Mountain climbers, here we go. Find your variation, plank. Very number one is knees up, feet to the ground every time. And number two, feet parallel to the ground. Number three, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, three, four. Remember, whatever variation you choose, you gotta pull the hips to ribs. If you need, if you need a quick reset, because sometimes there tends to be an arch in the lower back, if you need a quick reset, take it. Pull the hip strips and then you go again. Remember, it doesn't matter how slow or how fast you go. What matters is the quality and you want to be hitting 90% because then you can keep the clean form. As soon as you're past that 90% of form and strength, then it gets 
and you lose the form. Okay, you got five more seconds. Nice, up we go. Burpees. Um, sideways. This time you're warm enough where you can either jump, pull yourself down, plank, push up. Adding the jump, pull yourself down. You can do the plank and the push up on your hands or your fist. If you find that your wrist gets sore, create a fist. Thumbs outside. This is also good for kickboxing to strengthen the fist. Probably doesn't hurt for jiu-jitsu as well. Protect you against wrist locks and everything else. Next, on your back, bicycles. Lower back on the ground, start catching your breath, extending one leg. So we're first checking our home base, making sure the lower back is on the ground. And when you've recovered, bring that pace up. Focusing on, obviously, lower back staying on the ground and rotating opposite elbow, opposite knee, working on the rotation wall to wall. Using this as also a little bit of a break. It is purposely supposed to be a little bit lighter, focusing on the core, but giving the arms a break, giving, allowing the cardio to recover. So that has been done purposely because we have hip throughs next. All right, here we go. This time, start slow, find your movement. But as you find the movement, Knees hitting the ground, pulling the hips in, foot parallel to the ground, kicking out, not back. Start bringing that pace up. Really good for rotation. Everything we do is rotation in training. Rotating, passing the guard, getting angles in Muay Thai, in kickboxing, rotating with the hips. 15 seconds. You find it's getting hard, home base, rotate, foot down, help oh, just slow it down. Four, five, six, seven of them. Then bring that pace back up again. Nice. Mountain climbers, here we go. Find your variation, plank. Very number one is knees up, feet to the ground every time. And number two, Feet parallel to the ground, number three. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, three, four. Remember, whatever variation you choose, you gotta pull the hips to ribs. If you need, if you need a quick reset, because sometimes there tends to be an arch in the lower back, if you need a quick reset, take it. Pull the hips to ribs, and then you go again. Remember, it doesn't matter how slow or how fast you go. What matters is the quality and you want to be hitting 90% because then you can keep the clean form. As soon as you're past that 90% of form and strength, then it gets, then you lose the form. Okay, we got five more seconds. Nice, up we go. Burpees. Um, sideways. This time you're warm enough where you can add a jump. Pull yourself down, plank, push up. Adding the jump, pull yourself down. You can do the plank and the push up on your hands or your fist. If you find that your wrist gets sore, create a fist. Thumbs on the outside. This is also good for kickboxing to strengthen the fist. Probably doesn't hurt for jiu-jitsu as well. Protects you against wrist locks and everything else. Next, 
legs on your back. Bicycles. Lower back on the ground. Start catching your breath, extending one leg. So we're first checking our home base, making sure the lower back is on the ground. And when you've recovered, bring that pace up. Focusing on, obviously, lower back staying on the ground and rotating opposite elbow, opposite knee, working on the rotation wall to wall. Using this as also a little bit of a break, it is purposely supposed to be a little bit lighter, focusing on the core, but giving the arms a break, giving allowing the cardio to recover. So that has been done purposely because we have hip throughs next. All right, here we go. This time, start slow, find your movement. But as you find the movement, knees hitting the ground, pulling the hips in, foot parallel to the ground, kicking out, not back. Start bringing that pace up. Really good for rotation. Everything we do is rotation in training. Rotating, passing the guard, getting angles in Muay Thai, in kickboxing, rotating with the hips. 15 seconds. If you find it's getting hard, home base, rotate, foot down, help just slow it down. Four, five, six, seven of them. Then bring that pace back up again. Nice. Okay, everyone, thank you for joining me. I'll see you next session.